Here is how to build an aesthetic body without any bees talk. Set your goals. Of course, your goal is to be in a great aesthetic shape with perfect abs, big shoulders, and small waist. But it is only an overall goal. If you want to reach that, you first must set smaller goals, milestones for your body transformation journey. Without that, I can give you only one advice. Have fun with your ugly, junk food lover body, loser. But if you decide you are ready for your life-changing journey, let me show you what you should think of while setting new goals. First, and most important, one is your weight. If you are skinny, set a new goal to gain weight and muscles. And there is only one way to do that, caloric surplus. Caloric surplus is just eating more calories than enough. Here you can feel the first problem. What if you have a small appetite and can't eat much? Well, you don't have to eat much food. You have to eat a lot of calories. Long story short, you must focus on macronutrients and amount of calories in each product. But if you still don't know how to do it right, or you just don't have enough time, you can just simply look through internet for the best low volume high calories meals. On the other hand, if you are fat, the only way to change it is a calorie deficit and that is eating less calories than you need. Again, remember you must eat less calories, not less food, so look for high volume, low calories meals. Training, it's obviously the most important and hardest part of building a great body. Without training, your smaller steps don't really matter. If you eat more, but do not exercise, you will change from skinny to skinny fat, which means that you will only have excess fat instead of muscle mass gains or you will change from fat to skinny with loads of excess skin. Most important thing in training is technique. It doesn't matter if you can lift heavier dumbbells when you are swinging them around instead of steadily lifting up. When you finally understand the basics of training, remember to focus on muscle parts, which are most important in an aesthetic body. These are neck, delts, upper chest, lats, abs, and forearm muscles. Progressive overload. It's the second most important part of training. Without that, you will not be doing any progress. But what does it even mean? Progressive overload is moving forward to heavier and heavier weights to make some progress every training session. So when to move on with your weights? How I do it is really simple. If I can lift weight at least 12 times in one series, I add some more weights until I can lift only from six to eight times. Also remember, a mindset like, oh, I am going to add more weights until I can lift it max three times is really stupid and it is a waste of your time. Discipline. I know you are hearing it everywhere. Discipline is key. You cannot achieve anything without discipline. Be disciplined. But you know what? They are completely right. You may be thinking, hey, what about motivation? Well, motivation is a short-term thing. You watch some motivational Andrew Tate speeches and you feel the power and energy you want to put into training. But when motivation ends up, you also end up watching Netflix instead of gaining muscles. But discipline is a habit. If you are disciplined, you do things that have to be done, no matter if you want to or how you feel. Rest. Trust me, if you are training, you need some rest for better gains. Muscles must regenerate to grow, but to regenerate, they need rest. So you better be taking care of that even for your health. If you are overtrained, your heart cannot work properly, which can cause you know what. I personally prefer training every second day, so you can try that as well. That's all for today. I hope to take some notes and in a few months, send me some updates on your training journey. Bye.